a reading from Philippians. I thank my God every time I remember you. I always pray with joy in my every prayer for all of you because of your participation in the gospel from the first day until now. For I am sure of this very thing, that the one who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. For it is right for me to think this about you, because I have you in my heart. Since both in my imprisonment and my defense and the confirmation of the gospel, all of you became partners in God's grace together with me. For God is my witness that I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus, and I pray this, that your love may abound even more and more in knowledge and of every kind of insight, so that you can decide what is best, and thus be sincere and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Christ Jesus, to the glory and praise of God. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Today, our theme is love, which is actually written right here on this mug that I've been using for the past four weeks. I, I wash it after every time. It's not like a dirty mug. But it makes me think, in lieu of this text that we have, it makes me think of how far Paul has come. Paul uses some pretty powerful words in Philippians. And it just, I, I think of Paul's story and where he's come from. Paul was the one who was going around killing all the Christians and having them tortured and stoned and crucified before his transformation. But then we have that Paul met Jesus. <laughs> Jesus came and told him to clean his eyes out, made him blind, and then he had to go and find an apostle and had to clean his eyes out with mud and everything. And Paul had a change of heart. But I think of how radical that change is. Paul was living out this level of hatred towards these Christian people. The Jews, Gentiles, it doesn't matter who they were. Paul just hated the message of Jesus Christ. But then Jesus changed him all of a sudden. And Paul made a complete 180 and started going the other way and preaching a message of love towards all people. We have him writing books towards to all these different types of people. We have Gentiles and Jews. Paul loved women. Paul loved the paralyzed. Paul lived out this message of love in his life. And we see that when he wrote this letter to the Philippians as well. <laughs> Paul was living a life in imprisonment, and he's still thinking about the people that he's met in his life. He talked about how he prays for them all the time, and he has them in his heart. This has me think of, do we do this in our lives? Paul lived out this love of Jesus Christ for all people. Not, not just the Philippians, not just the people he's met. He, he went around and met the Corinthians and Romans, and he had the same spirit about him, the same message of love that he cared for all of these people. And every single person he encountered, he gave that love out to freely. But are we doing the same in our lives? I know it's challenging for me to love people that I don't know, which is why it's easier for me to have a conversation with people because then I can get to know them and figure out like, how do I love you? How do I care for you? But even the people that we don't know, Jesus' message tells us that we should even love our enemies. But man, that's got to be hard when we don't even know people.
So our message this week is love. And how can we go out into this world and love the people that we don't know? How can we love and care for people in our lives and the people out of our lives? Maybe by striking up a conversation and getting to know someone. Chat with someone online. Do something a little bit different. This week, I am think I'm going to try and chat with a couple of new people. Figure out what's going on in their lives. Maybe someone at the store when I'm doing my Christmas shopping. Hey, who are you buying gifts for? Oh, your son. That's nice. So this week, our challenge is to love a little bit deeper. Get to know someone a little bit more. Engage in conversation and care for each other more deeply than we have before. Because Jesus gives us that message of love so that we can share it with our neighbors. Amen.